Hey guys, TLR here. The question is, sports bikes or cruisers, which one's safer? So a common question, a common debate that happens in the motorcycle world, it's, it's the endless feud between sports bikes and cruisers. So the question is, which one is safer? Is it really the cruiser that's safer simply because it's a bigger bike or is it the sports bike that's safer because it has more maneuverability? Well, let's look at the pros and cons first. So first of all, let's go with pros for cruisers. Some people say the fact that it has a lower seat height makes it safer, puts you closer to the ground. It gives you a better opportunity to put your feet down. Some people say that the fact that there's more mass to a cruiser, the fact that it's heavier, will be better. It's more between you and an impact. I'm not exactly sure whether or not either of those things are good or bad for an accident. Now on the flip side, I, I obviously know sports bikes better than I know cruisers. My first bike was a cruiser and I really enjoyed it, but now I'm obviously on a sports bike. So, you know, looking at a sports bike, where are the safety pros for the sports bike? Well, first off, we have how light it is, how nimble it is. Some people find problems with the fact that the foot position is so far forward on the cruiser that it uh, removes your ability to handle the cruiser as much as it would a sports bike. Or on a sports bike, your feet are back considerably and it gives you a lot more mobility on the bike. It gives you more opportunity to get off the bike as well. And by that, I mean getting off and maneuvering back and forth. Sports bikes are also considerably lighter, which means that you can flick them around a little more easily. You know, if all of a sudden someone slams on the brake in front of you, it is easier to go around them than it is on a cruiser. I would think because of the weight of a cruiser and because of your body position on a cruiser, it'd be more difficult to avoid accidents. I totally didn't realize this was a red light up here. Your speed, these things never read me correctly. 27, and I'm going 47. Yo! <laughs> the maneuverability of a sports bike is considerably higher than that of a cruiser. Now having said that, I have seen some cruisers that are just, like, I, I've seen some, like, you ever seen those police rodeos? These rodeos, they have the most maneuverability of any rider I have ever seen. I, every single time I watch police rodeos on their cruisers, I am astounded by the maneuverability they have. Just over this list, you can see that sports bikes, as, as far as like straight up on paper safety features, have a lot more. On top of that, sports bikes also have considerably more braking power. A lot of the times sports bikes come with ABS, where a lot of cruisers don't. So they come with uh, slipper clutches where cruisers don't. There's just a lot of safety features that I would personally consider safety cruisers in a sports bike that I wouldn't consider ever seeing in a cruiser. Oh, I killed it. I killed it. That's me just going around killing vehicles all the time. Now, considering all of these things, it, on paper, it looks like the sports bike is actually safer. But all things considered, no matter what capabilities that a sports bike or a cruiser have, it really matters who's on the bike. Like, if you guys have seen police rodeos, police motorcycle rodeos, I'm sure you have because I've absolutely put a clip in by now. then you know that those cops got some mad skills, and I mean some crazy amazing skills. I wish I could go through officer training for motorcycles because they are seriously amazing. What matters considerably less than the safety features of the vehicle themselves, it matters much more about the person on the vehicle. You know, it's like they say, the most dangerous thing on a motorcycle is the nut sitting in the seat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's one of the reasons that I constantly advocate. Um, I'm getting, see this happens every time that I wander around. I get so 
stinking distracted. Are these sisters? Hey sisters, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Well, just wanted to say hi. <laughs> Have a good one. I always get so stinking distracted when I am exploring places. But either way, so, um, whoa, oh, the gate's closed over here. Well, that's fine, I'll go out here. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so that's the reason I actually always advocate motorcycle training, because the more experience that you have, the more capable you're going to be at you know, handling circumstances. Team Arizona, the group that I usually learn from, uh, has booster courses on a monthly basis where you can go and practice emergency stopping, and you can go practice um, lots of different things, you know, hard cornering and uh, emergency maneuvers and all sorts of stuff. So I, I always advocate doing training. It's always, always, always a good idea to do as much motorcycle training as you possibly can. I love coming down here. This place is so stinking pretty. But it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't like Maine, but we can hit Maine. It really doesn't matter which bike you ride. I mean, obviously, if your bike is mechanically unsound, you know, you're not taking care of the chain, it's loose, or, or you know, your brakes are out or something like that, like, that's going to make it unsafe. But if you're getting the training you need and you're improving your skill and always learning how to ride better and better, then really the most dangerous thing about a motorcycle is you. It doesn't really matter what type of motorcycle that you ride, it matters much more how you ride your motorcycle. Why in the world did I decide to get on Maine? I hate driving down Maine. I, I have always hated driving down Maine. Okay guys, well that's all I got for you today. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Always stop for a cute girl. I think she heard me. Ha, 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 ha.